everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today I am doing a meet Tatiana video. I decided in this holiday time it's such a great time to actually just share with you all who I am and what I'm all about. I've really come to think of many of you kind of as my like flute family, flute community and you guys really inspire me, you keep me going, you help me do what I do. So as a big thank you I thought I'm gonna let you guys in a little bit more into my world. So let's go check it out. Some of the stuff you guys already know. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, bottom of Africa. Um, I've got German family, so I kind of got that mixed heritage thing going on. I, I love dogs. I love animals, actually. I love all animals. Uh, I've got some dogs. Those of you who are following me on Instagram, you occasionally see some pictures of my dogs just because they are a huge part of my life and I love them a lot. I have zero sense of fashion, like really zero sense of fashion. Just going to put it out there. Like, you know, I've, it's gotten better over time. I've definitely developed. I had a photo shoot yesterday and I genuinely had to get a friend to take me shopping and style me. Hashtag thank you, Cherie. That was amazing. But seriously, I I don't, I, I haven't owned a pair of high heels or I, I hadn't owned a pair of high heels until I found an old pair in my cupboard. And then I was like, oh, look, I do have some. I don't wear makeup. I never wear makeup. I, I That's not true. I do sometimes wear makeup. Uh, for most of these videos, I don't wear makeup. Sometimes I'll put on a little bit, uh, but I wish I could say like I'm principled and I don't believe in makeup and it's not that, I'm just lazy. I just, I like, I'm like, there are better things to do with my time than for me to put on makeup. I started playing the flute when I was 12 years old. I kind of always wanted to play the flute since I can remember, like, you know, from the age of about four, also, I mean, I, I, I'm making that up because I had no idea how old I was, but ever since I can remember, I was like, I want to play the flute. And uh, my parents eventually, at probably about age 11 or so, they bought me my first flute. And, you know, I wanted to start when I was younger. You know, back then they were like, no, you're too small, you can't start. And I agree, if you, kids are too small, they really shouldn't start. But admittedly, I think that became a little bit of an excuse because, you know, the music lessons are expensive. I was already playing the violin. And I think my parents were secretly hoping I'd kind of outgrow the flute thing. I come from a family of musicians. My mom isn't a musician, but she sings and she played music when she was younger as well. And my dad is actually a full-time musician. So, you know, I think, and he's a bass player, double bass player. So I think like flute was this really out there thing. All my other siblings were playing violin and piano. And here I came and wanted to play the flute. I have a theory about why I wanted to play the flute. I have a theory that I, like my favorite movie of all time is Beauty and the Beast. So there's a lot of flute in that movie, I realized you know, later in life. And I kind of have a theory that I heard or listened to that movie. Well, didn't listen to it. I watched that movie so many times as a child and I listened to that music a lot. And when I went to go watch my dad play in the orchestra, I would be like, wow, that's that instrument. That's the instrument I want to play. I just kind of fell in love with it. That's a theory. <laughs> Who knows how these things work? But it seemed that I was destined to play the flute. When I was about like, like eight years old I remember I made myself I found like a piece of like bamboo in the garden and I don't know, know where I found it but anyway I made myself a little flute out of it I don't think it worked I don't think that flute played at all nope but maybe maybe a few notes I remember like I would play around that thing quite a lot it's a bit of a strange kind of journey uh, that I went on I remember when I was finishing off my studies, I was busy practicing for my final recital and I was wondering like, how am I actually gonna keep this going? You know, like how am I gonna keep this practice thing going um, when I don't have lessons to go to and I don't have somebody kind of like breathing down my neck, like, hey, why are you not practicing? Or at least the pressure of a recital or whatever. And I thought it would be such a great thing to have kind of like a space, an online space where people can practice or where people can motivate each other to practice. And you know, this has kind of, in a sense, morphed a little bit. I wouldn't say morphed away from that. Like, I think my primary goal is always still to just inspire your practice, inspire your playing. Uh, but in a sense, I guess the videos have taken more and more kind of, of like a tutorial feel to them, which I think is fine. I think kind of these things naturally develop um, as they do. And it's been quite amazing to see how this journey, this YouTubing journey has kind of shifted and shaped. 
and I really just want to make a little shout out to all of you. This is always supposed to be uh, about you guys. It really is. It's supposed to be about helping you guys, you know, serving you guys, giving you whatever it is that you need. And it's really been exciting because I think in many ways I feel like all of you have been a part of this year and have been a part of this incredible journey and experience that I've been on. Even though I don't always share, you know, everything that I'm doing with you guys on this YouTube channel, um, you can go look on my Facebook pages. I do tend to try and share more there. But I just really want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you. Thank you for supporting me and encouraging me. And I've got the most incredible messages and emails and Facebook messages and whatnot, comments as well, that just really affirm over and over again why I do what I do and, and why I love doing what I do. Thank you.